Hi guys, we've got an applications of differentiation question today which is talking about the cost for the production of x units of a certain product as given by the cubic function here. Find the value for x for which the average cost per unit, now that's in bold because the question also put it in bold so I just thought I'd copy it straight in as, as the question was written, is a minimum and find this minimum average cost. Okay, so what we have to start with with this question otherwise we're going to get it wrong straight off the bat, is that there's a huge difference between total cost and average cost, or average total cost. So basically what we've got here is this is our cost function, which measures the total cost of making whatever amount of x units we have. Now for the average cost function, hopefully you guys understand that an average is you add all the numbers together and you divide it by the number of numbers. So in the, same, in the same sort of scenario here, the average cost per unit is going to be the total cost. Let's just call this the average cost. We'll call it uh, just AC. It's going to equal the cost for the production of the units. Divided by... the number of units that we end up making. So what we're going to be asking to optimize or differentiate is actually a function that is different from the function that we've been given up here. And it'll give us a massively diff different answer if you just try and differentiate this. All right, so the average cost is given by this. Now, what is this actually equal to? Well, that's equal to our cost function, which is x plus 10 cubed divided by, like it says over here, just x. Cool, so now I've got a, like a rational function which we're going to have to differentiate. So to find the minimum average cost per unit, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to differentiate average, the average cost function and find where it's at a turning point. So what we're going to do, I might just change colors, keep it Keep it separate. So we're going to have to differentiate the average cost function with respect to x. Now I'm going to use the quotient rule just so you guys are aware of what the hell I'm doing. So we do the derivative of the top which is going to be 3x plus 10 squared times the derivative of the inside, which is just 1, so I'm going to leave it out, multiplied by the bottom, left by itself, like left as it is. Subtract the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1, so I'm going to leave it out, times the top, left the way it is. all divided by the bottom squared. Cool. So to find the uh, turning point or the minimum for this function, we're going to have to make this gradient function equal to zero and we're going to have to solve it. So I'll just change color again. So to solve it, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared so I can shift the x squared across and you'll find that it just becomes zero. So what we'll then we'll do is we're going to be left with, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I feel like I shouldn't have to explain how the algebra works to you guys, but now that I'm sort of started to do it, I'm, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> bit like Pringles, once you pop, you can't stop. So basically what we've done there, and that's going to have the effect of cancelling that out. And we're left with, cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go about dividing both sides by x plus 10 all squared. And what you get here is these two will cancel out. That's why I've done it. And this will cancel out with that and we'll just be left with x plus 10 to the power of 1. 
Cool, so what have we actually even got remaining now? So we've got 3x is equal to... So I'm going to take the x over the other side, which will leave 2x. Then dividing by 2 will make x equal to 5. Cool. So that is the value of x for which the average cost per unit is a minimum but now we have to find this minimum average cost. So all we have to do now is substitute 5 into the average cost function. So where am I going to do it? I'll just give myself a bit of space here. So I'm going to go C of 5 over 5 is equal to x plus 10 cubed, but this x, sorry, is going to be a a 5 divided by 5. Okay, because my calculator is in the other room, let's see if we can evaluate this by hand. So this is going to be 15 cubed over 5. Now 15 cubed is the same as saying 3 cubed times 5 cubed over 5. Now what we can do then is we can, one of this will go to a, a 2 and this will just be cancelled out. So we're left with 3 cubed times 5 squared. 3 cubed is 27 times 25. Now I know that 25 times 25 is 625. So that's going to be 625 plus 50, which is 675. Cool. So now we have those two numbers. So we can say the value of x, so the is... 5, so the minimum total cost is going to be when x is equal to 5 and we have the total average cost or the average cost per unit is $675 per unit. Cool. So basically what we've done here is we've, we've done a quite a simple example of the, um, the difference between sort of the cost function and an average cost function. So, and then using calculus to optimize the average cost function. So basically what we did here is we recognized that the average cost function was just the cost function divided by the number of units that we make. Once we've done, once we've like created a cost function, we were then able to just substitute in, well, we could differentiate it solve for x, which would then give us the number of units to make, to make the minimum average cost. Following that, we then just substituted that into the original function to find the minimum average cost per unit. So, I hope this video helped. Do us a favor, like and subscribe to my, like the video, subscribe to my channel, you know, all that other mumbo jumbo. If you want to, leave a comment. If you want to ask me a question, like I get a lot of people asking me questions, that's how these videos get created, so I wouldn't mind if you threw me a question to have a go at. I'm always looking for new ones, but until next time, I'll see you then.